that ultimately we have to work out our problems with our neighbors. Our neighbors are not going to go away. Despite all the provocations, despite the Pak foreign minister speaking in two voices, talking peace on one hand and knocking off confidence builders on the other, despite the continuing excesses, India is willing to talk and sewage. But is Pakistan willing to listen? Not that it has much choice. I'm not going to get into the specifics here. I think we've spoken to the general principles we want to see here. The reason for it perhaps lies here in the army's resurgence in clout and eagerness to assert itself and the state of Pakistan's polity, in which the Prime Minister and the President are hobbled by court cases, making them powerless against an assertive army chief and his troublemaking officers. There's no sight of elections and no reason to whip up any nationalist sentiment in anti-India bogey. It's a time when Pakistani relations with the US are at their worst, with the army on the forefront of the Afghan peace efforts and brokering a deal with the Taliban, all of which in a nutshell means trouble for India or leading up to an explanation of Pakistan's anti-India moves, indicating a desperation to stay relevant and reassert its troublemaking potential to the world. Bureau Report, Newsx.